Hi folks, this is an update on the turtle. I've put it in the sun at the front to see how quick it can charge up in the sun. So that's what it's saying, 600 and around about 690 milliwatts it's charging in the sun. So it's 72% at the moment. So I'll set a timer and see how it goes. So we gave up on trying to charge it outside. It was just taking far too long. Um, we tried over two days and still couldn't get it past about 92%. So it looks like this time of year in January, February, really your only option is to charge it via the USB. So we put it on charge via the USB today. We're up to 95%, so just needs another 5%. And then we'll be putting it in the garden. It'll only be the second time it's actually weeded in the garden. And it'll be doing a slightly bigger area because we've cleared a bit more now. So it's just got fully charged to 100%. <coughs> So Paul's switching it on. And we're going to put it on time lapse to see uh, how it moves over time. So we've just stopped it now. See, it's forty-eight percent of the charge. So we've stopped it manually now, and it looks really nicely tilled, doesn't it? Yeah. The only thing is, these um, hawthorns are a bit close together, but we are going to move them further apart, so it should get around better then. So we've cleared this area at the front of the house. So when I initially made this little thing in the middle of the garden, this uh, flower bed, I kept it small because I didn't want too much weeding to do. But now that we've got the the turtle, the turtle I've decided I'm going to make it a, a bigger area. And also I'll have to be careful about spacing the plants so that it's got enough room to move around. Uh, at the moment, it looks like it's just stuck in that one bit, doesn't it? Mm. It's not enough room for it to get outside of that, that one bit. So I, I don't see why not, though. I can see a clear path myself. Can you? Between the wooden edge and the uh, conifer in the middle. Well, we'll see what happens. Okay, so we think that it's it might be because the herb's sort of high, too high, too uneven, and that's why it's sort of seeing it as a barrier. So Paul's going to move it to the other side of the flower bed. Okay, so what Paul actually did was he just moved down the soil. He didn't move the turtle, he didn't pick the turtle up and move it. He just moved down the soil and the turtles managed to get around that side of the conifer itself. The flowers on that right hand side, they're too close together though, aren't they? Mm. It's not gonna be able to get around them. No, I need to space them out more. Yeah, so we need to space them out and really have a, a, a bigger flower bed. Yeah. More appropriate size. With the plants spaced out. So interestingly, you could say uh, really the flower bed area is too small for the Yes, time. I think so. At the moment, it's too small. But as I say, I made it that size because mm. 
tenants and make it manageable for weeding? Making it manageable for me, weeding. Um, but it, it'll be really nice having a large flower bed and it means I won't have as much of an area to mow as a lawn, it will make the lawn smaller. So it's good. So we enlarged the area that the turtle has access to now. So I've cleared this bit here where it's weeding at the moment and now it's got quite a long stretch right down to the bushes right down the other end there so it's covering quite a long area now down this side of the garden i found from having the turtle on several times that it tends to power down once it gets down to 50% charge and it won't power up again until it's above 50% so you, it doesn't have to be on 100% to start weeding but it must be higher than 50. This area here hasn't been um, sort of weeded yet it needs to be cleared first but I'm hoping to get that done in the near future so that the turtle can then weed this area as well. It looks like it's got itself in a spot of bother now. I'm going to have to actually rescue it from, uh, from its situation. So these barriers that I've got up, oh, they must be too low at the moment. So there's still quite a lot to do to get the garden suitable for the turtle in terms of having enough space between plants, having the barrier sort of tall enough so it doesn't get into a problem like it just did then. We're still charging the turtle by the USB. We're still not getting enough daylight for it to charge um, from the sun. Currently, we have to have it on charge for about three to four hours at a time to have enough charge to do a reasonable amount of weeding uh, around the garden. So getting it above sort of 80% charge before putting it out in the garden. So that's about it for the update on the turtle. I'll make another video in a few weeks time and when we'll have more of the garden cleared and hopefully make it a bit more suitable for the turtle and we'll see if we still need to keep charging it by the USB then or if as we get into the spring maybe it might be able to charge up from the sun but for now folks thanks for watching as always and see you real soon again with the turtle and an update